Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people. Welcome to Mount Cabaret! <laughs> well, why don't you come up and, and come on, show everyone your outfit. Oh! <laughs> Is love just a word to describe a feeling? <laughs> or is it a language all of its own? That's right. If there is something in dating or in sex that you think needs a word or a phrase that doesn't have one yet, our beautiful wordsmiths will come up with one. <laughs> Nikolai, will you define Shrek Forever after for us? Shrek Forever after Right. Fauciing is refusing to date someone because you don't think that they're taking COVID-19 seriously enough. Interesting, straightforward, interesting. Austin, what do you think? I'm gonna go with real. Is Fauciing real? Let's find out. It is real! It's like a love song. Unhinged. Is it the Usher song? It sure is. <laughs> And uh, honestly, no, that, nice. uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I truly was a catfish here because if it had been Usher, I 100% would have gone to whatever club he told me to. Okay. May I ask you, do you feel the same about your mom as you do about pizza? <laughs> uh, the only language that has fewer words for love is Klingon, which has zero, but is also a made-up language used by space bros. So that if you have a joke about the office or if you talk about loving tacos or brunch or uh, things of that sort, you might want to consider uh, maybe updating your profile. Um, uh, okay, I had to ask this question. What is the linguistic equivalent of guy holding a fish? <laughs> so we're gonna play a quick little game that I'm gonna call Sonnet the Ledge Hawk, all right? <laughs> I think everybody out on the streets deserves a sonnet. I wrote one. We'll make a lunar colony for ourselves and build a swing set for X-A12. What, am I just telling it this is Elon to? Yeah, this is to, Elon Musk and Grind. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Okay, we're gonna go another quatrain. Someone once told me that I would be rolled. <laughs> for dullness, against the blades within the shed. New NFT is Bidening. <laughs> what you've experienced, Austin, is now known as Bidening. <laughs> and you might want to learn a lesson from it, but you never will. And the Republicans, Republicans are going to take over your relationship in two years, I'm sorry to say. Congratulations, <laughs> Austin, please. So if you can just give it up for all of my wonderful co-hosts. Give it up for Caveat.